guys so it's been a little while since my last video and if you follow me on social media you'll know that that's because it's been my birthday and I've also been on holiday in Mexico but I'm back now and I thought I'd jump right back in with probably my most highly requested video to demonstrate and answer some questions for anyone who may be considering trying out gouache paint. I get asked a lot whether gouache performs more like watercolour or acrylic paint and I have to say that it actually seems like a bit of both. Um, you can see here the depth of colour that you can achieve with gouache, much like acrylic paint. And the great thing about gouache is how bold and opaque the colours can be. You can get a really polished flat finish, um, that sort of block colour look that you get in posters or cartoons, graphic design and illustration, that kind of thing. Plus a benefit of the thickness of the paint is that you can go over areas that you've already coloured to add light and shade, for example, as I'm doing here. You do have to be careful with layering different colours of gouache paint because it is water-based and can actually be used a lot like watercolours. Even when it's dry, gouache can be reactivated with water, so you can blend colours that were previously dry with a new colour, as I'm doing here. Or if you're really careful, you can try not to blend it and give parts of your painting a transparent effect or a wash uh, by using watered down gouache over blocks of colour that are already there. So regardless of how opaque I want the finish to be, I usually add a little bit of water to my paint to make it a little bit slicker, you know, easier to work with. You get a smoother finish, sharper edges and it doesn't really compromise the opacity of the coverage. It can be difficult at first to find the right balance of water and paint and I have to admit I do still struggle sometimes but all it takes is a little bit of practice to figure out what works best for you. And here obviously I normally outline my artwork with ink um, but I just wanted to do something to show how you can use gouache for outlines um, to do fine lines um, and it's also great for lettering and calligraphy and this is where you really get to see how a little bit of this paint can go a long way because you really feel like your lines can go on forever before you have to top up your brush again with paint you can just give your work such a sharp finish So that's about it guys, as always just want to say thanks for watching and of course if there's anything I haven't covered feel free to drop a question below. If you have any requests for videos as well just let me know and don't forget to check out my social media to keep up to date with what I'm up to and if you're interested in owning any of my artwork you can find original drawings and paintings in my official online shop plus cheap prints and phone cases and other cool stuff on my Society6 shop. Thanks for watching!